Somewhere on the border between Brazil and Paraguay lies a concrete giant, a dam so powerful it once produced more electricity than any other structure on Earth. A dam so big it literally changed the flow of a massive river. This is Itaipu, an engineering marvel that powers two nations. But how did it get built? What secrets lie behind its walls? And why does it still matter decades later? From underwater explosions to diplomatic power plays, this is the true story of Itaipu, the mega dam that lit up South America. The Itaipu Dam is not just a power plant. It's one of the largest hydroelectric facilities ever built. Located on the Parana River, it straddles the border of Brazil and Paraguay, two countries that were once more rivals than partners. When Itaipu came online in 1984, it stunned the world. More than 14,000 megawatts of clean energy, enough to power entire cities, even countries. And here's the twist. Paraguay, one of the smallest nations in South America, owns half of it. This video will take you on a journey through history, politics, and jaw-dropping engineering. We'll uncover the motivations that led to its creation, the construction challenges that nearly broke the project, and how a shared dam became the heartbeat of an entire region. The 1960s were a time of ambition in South America. Brazil, the continent's giant, was industrializing fast. Cities like Sao Paulo and Rio were expanding, and the country needed power, a lot of power. Meanwhile, Paraguay was a very different story. Landlocked, rural, poor. But it had something valuable, access to one of the most powerful rivers in the world, the Paraná. Stretching over 4,800 kilometers, the Paraná is South America's second longest river, and in the 1970s, it became the centerpiece of an audacious idea. Build the largest dam in the world and split the power between two nations. But building a mega dam wasn't just about pouring concrete. It would require international diplomacy, massive coordination, and total control of a wild, raging river. By the early 1970s, Brazil and Paraguay had both undergone political shifts. Military governments were in power in both countries. And while they didn't trust each other completely, they had a shared vision. In 1973, they signed the Itaipu Treaty, a binational agreement to build and operate the dam jointly. One dam, two owners. Profits, water, and electricity would be split 50-50. But let's be clear. Brazil was the economic powerhouse. It provided the funding, engineers, and most of the labor. Paraguay? It brought location and legal control of the riverbanks. The name Itaipu comes from a nearby island, meaning the sound of stones in the Guarani language. But soon, Itaipu would mean power, literal power, and political power. Construction began in 1975, and from the start, it was clear this would be one of the largest engineering projects the world had ever seen. First, they had to divert the Paraná River, a waterway with more force than almost any in South America. This meant digging a massive canal and blowing up part of the riverbed. The explosion used? One of the largest non-nuclear blasts ever detonated on Earth at the time. Then came the dam itself, over 12.3 million cubic meters of concrete, enough to build 210 football stadiums. 40,000 workers labored around the clock, working through searing heat, political tension, and the logistics of operating in two different countries with two languages and two governments. Inside, Itaipu would house 20 massive turbines each one weighing hundreds of tons and spinning with thunderous energy. By 1984, the first generator was online, and Itaipu began flooding South America, not with water, but with electricity. Once fully operational, Itaipu didn't just work, it shattered records. 
For years, it held the title of world's largest power producer. In 2016, it generated over 103 million megawatt hours of electricity, more than any power plant on Earth at the time, beating even China's Three Gorges Dam. Brazil gets around 10 to 15 percent of its electricity from Itaipu. Paraguay? Over 85 percent of its total power comes from this single dam. In a way, Itaipu helped industrialize Brazil, while also turning Paraguay into one of the only countries on Earth that exports most of its electricity. But that much water, that much power, doesn't come without costs. For all its engineering glory, Itaipu came with serious consequences. The dam created a reservoir over 1,350 square kilometers, flooding vast areas of forest, farmland, and indigenous land. More than 10,000 families were forcibly displaced. Entire towns disappeared underwater. Wildlife? Disrupted. Ecosystems? Permanently changed. One of the most painful losses was the Sechicatus waterfalls, once among the largest and most powerful on Earth. They were submerged forever without ever being properly studied or protected. Environmentalists still debate whether Itaipu's output justifies the damage, but for many, the scars remain, hidden beneath the shimmering surface of the reservoir. Itaipu didn't just generate electricity. It generated decades of tension, especially around who benefits. Brazil used most of the power. Paraguay, by treaty, had to sell its surplus to Brazil at below market prices. Critics called it exploitation, a bad deal. In Paraguay, the dam became a symbol of foreign control. Students, unions, and politicians demanded renegotiation. In 2009, Paraguay's new government finally pushed back. Brazil agreed to triple the payments it made for Paraguay's excess electricity. The deal stood. The power kept flowing. But Itaipu's legacy as a source of power imbalance, not just electricity, was now clear. Today, Itaipu remains a global energy powerhouse. It's no longer the biggest, China's Three Gorges Dam has taken that crown by capacity, but Itaipu still leads in efficiency and output per turbine. The dam has embraced a greener future, funding reforestation, wildlife corridors, and social programs. Itaipu is also a model of bi-national cooperation. Engineers from both Brazil and Paraguay keep it running 24-7 maintaining a delicate balance of diplomacy, science, and raw power. The Itaipu Dam is more than just concrete and turbines. It's a story about vision, sacrifice, and the true cost of progress. It lit up cities, fueled economies, built bridges, and exposed divides. It showed what two countries could achieve together but also reminded us that energy is never just about volts and watts. It's about people, politics, and the planet. Itaipu stands as a monument to what's possible and to what we must never forget.